How bleak. It wasn't that long ago, but it somehow feels nostalgic. It feels like it was years ago. Give it up for Travis. Humans aren't all bullshit after all. He's no representative of humanity. He's just a street punk. Why do you hate him so much? I hate punks. They're violent, evil psychos. Kind of like you, Fu. This is my fight, but it's Travis's fight as well. As fighters, we understand each other, somewhat. But you, you don't fight. That's right. I have nothing to do with this. I was simply dragged into it all. You really believe that? Think about it. Why would Travis come here? Was it a coincidence? He's... Because he's an assassin. No. You brought Travis here. You wanted me to do it. To kill Travis. I never asked you to do that. We're connected here. So I wanted to fulfill your wish for you. What? For me? The final battle. Watch it up close. Watch as Travis dies. Ooh. Hmm. Kind of weird for Damon to say that he never asked Fu to kill Travis. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that many ranks ago. Where he was like, look, I just want you to kill Travis. Whatever, whatever it takes, just tear him to pieces. Pretty sure that's what he said. Well. Master, I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, she's feeling better. It's cool. Let's watch some movies. Today we're doing a Miike and Hideaki viewing party. So, how are your arms doing? Slowly but surely, I'm getting used to the sensation. I can't hold my sword just yet, though. No need to rush. I want to hurry up and help you out. What do you like, Shinobu? What do I like? I like my master. <coughs> oh. huh. So you're a real straight shooter, I see. That's not what he means. What kind of movies do you like? G-style stuff. G-style? Gundam type? Terraformers! Are you a Terraformers fan? Which is it? Did you start off with the original? Or did you see the movie first and then the original? Terra? I don't know what that means. By G style, I meant something like Barbados swordplay. Ah, that G style, huh? Are you trying to get some practice in? Yes. The broadsword action is especially helpful. You're a real studious one, huh? My way is the way of the sword. Wow, what a line. For times like this, the EK and swords means Blade of the Immortal. Huh? Immortal. I love the original. I'd like to watch that one. Please show me the film. Oh, Shinobu. I can't believe we got Deathman card number 21. Oh, yeah. Also, you can now play... Uh... The Deathman game itself. We'll just go up and take a peek at it. I'm not actually going to play it. I had to play it last time. That was good enough. But there it is. Right there. Capsule toy collection, which I've completely neglected. Uh, don't worry about it. That's all I have to say about that at this time. Well, in the motel, and it's got to be somewhere on the second floor, or on the first floor, there's a, uh, maybe I can find it and take a peek.
I guess, you know, after I do the rounds. Yeah, bad girl isn't there anymore. So, makes sense. Where is it? Should be on the. Did I just never unlock it? I think I just never unlocked it. Um. There are, you know, side quests that I have uh, neglected. Um. I guess the capsule machine is one of the rewards. Anyway, let's uh, power up. This is we can. All right. Well, definitely want to max out attack. Why would I not do that? See how much I need for uh, health. Fifty-five hundred. All right. Well, I can do that. I'll probably have that by the uh, end of the grind. Let's see if there are any good chips that I can make. Uh, Osmos X. Ah. Or maintaining your tension gauge. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything new for me to make. Oh well. And of course, if we go into the uh, medical room, Shinobu isn't there. She's all better now. Not all all better, but mostly better. Alright, so the side quests aren't actually all that interesting, and that's kind of a big reason why I didn't do them. Um, it's mostly just... Go to these points, get a very short uh, visual novel style conversation, uh, just like you know Travis Strikes Back, just like Damon's uh, meetings with the mysterious man, and that's it. There's nothing great about them. All right, turn in a few cards. Slowly, you know, lumber through any building. Who doesn't love that? I should have like at least one or two scorpions, I think. Maybe just one. Two scorpions. All right. Where are we going? I guess our designated matches are around... Oh. Hmm. Cool. Alright. The designated matches are actually just all around... Uh, all around the entire world map. All right, well, no sense in uh, dilly-dallying, I guess. 
Have to make our way. Every single one, I suppose. Maybe not every single one, but. First up. I'm sure by the time I check out all of these matches, I'll have enough money, right? Full green mode. Take damage, I guess. Great, Gene. One of these days I'll get the timing right for the big swing that this guy does. Shockwave attack. I might die. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Now, you're not getting me with that this time. Of course. Of course. Don't let me down, dude. All right. Uh, big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies. Stop. Damon, I love you. Fine. Whatever. Bring it on. Why even wait? Transform. Go for the missile attack. You gotta be kidding me. Not a good feeling when the enemy can interrupt my, uh, my skills. Well, I guess that's video games. We're getting thrill crazy here, man. I'm gonna heal while I have the chance. 
Will it be strictly necessary? I don't think so. But at the same time, I'm figuring that I'll have enough money to upgrade or to replenish my healing supplies for the final fights. Hey, that's a uh, checking on the map. Yeah, there's that one's area is sent to destroy itself. Rather, is done. Time to move on to perfect world. Shortcut. See here. This you shop right around here, huh? And I see a scorpion. Guess I'll try to pick that up too. Da -da -da. Yard, don't mind. Hmm. Well, I'll get this too. Extra attack power. Time will tell if I actually need it, but. I'll have to make sure I get enough to, uh, to get one of those eat-in meals. Definitely needed the bike for that. Here we go. It was easier to find than I thought. I'm not going to hold back. Anti gravity death force. Screw crusher death kick. Weapon clash against me, probably. Death belt shower. Strawberry, right on. Cranberry, double kill. Uh, Triple kill. Cranberry, super kill. Uh, what was that? Finish this guy off. Blueberry, 
Gravity Death Force. Screw Crusher Death Kick. Gotta be double kidding me. Come on. Oh, alright. Guess I'm using my healing already. Fine, fine. Let's try, right, buddy. What he said. That was still a B rank? Okay. Oh. Didn't know there was anything left in this part. Oh. Right, so the mysterious man uh, walked right into highway traffic and uh, didn't actually die. And he's holding a thermonuclear detonator? All it requires is Anger and hatred. I somehow kind of forgot that there is any indication that the mysterious man would come back. Um, I guess it wouldn't be the first time that someone came back after dying. Alright, uh, next, go to Thunderdome. I was thinking before that the mysterious man was just someone in Henry's uh, Order of the Emerald Knight. Now? I have no idea. Where am I going? Near the entrance to Neo Osaka. Well, this will be the last match that I'm required to do. But I'll do the other ones too. Bring it on. I have that extra money. Death melt shower. Oh yeah. Strawberry, cheeky, raspberry, double kill, blueberry. Actually, that's kill. pretty funny. Bear. Uh, I, I didn't expect that the, uh, uh, that the AOE 
attack would continue while I was going through the transformation sequence. But hey, that's that's good. Did it actually? Yeah, it did some damage to everyone. I think. Get out of here, you. I thought it did a, a second attack, but whatever. It's fine. Or, I'm sorry, a third attack. No. That very obviously did a second attack. Right there in the footage. Alright. Double S rank. Loads of money. Loads of Wesson. I probably have enough to pay the, uh, the big fee. I do not have enough to pay the fee. What do I need? Uh, 60,000? Okay. Uh, so, let's see. All of battle should have... All of battle has a couple of... That's fine. Shortcut. Got a battle in this vicinity. In fact, it's right there. see a couple of those guys with the uh, motorcycle helmets or whatever. Buddy, I got your number. One of the little touches that I don't, oh, that I don't think I've uh, really mentioned before is uh, one of the things that was kind of a, annoying in uh, previous games. It's how, uh, you know, in the middle of your combo, the enemy could uh, be stunned uh, for, for a wrestling move. But if you didn't stop your own combo to, uh, to do the wrestling, like immediately, you would lose your chance. Uh, this game seems a lot better about... Uh, Extending that window of vulnerability uh, so that uh, you can continue your beam attack combo to the end. There you are. I didn't take any damage that time, so that should be another double S, right? Exactly what I need. More than what I need. Uh, 
Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna get the last two or three battles. I think just two, right? Guess I'll check the map real quick. Yeah, Call of Duty, Neo Brazil. Those are the only ones remaining. I thought I could go into the ruins here, but I guess not. Gotta go in through here. That's fine. I guess while I'm wandering around, something I could mention is that, uh, in fact, I'll pull up the map again. All these red areas. These no-go zones, uh, maybe not all of them, per se, but uh, a lot of these areas, uh, you were... Initially, they wanted you to be able to go there. But uh, apparently... I just can't jump over this. Uh, apparently... When they were, you know, like, actually implemented into the game, uh, it didn't work right. Uh, it Just having that part of the world accessible, or I guess more specifically loaded in, uh, it really tanked the game's uh, performance. Uh, from what I've heard. There's an absolutely dismal frame rates. Just trying to wander around. Which, uh... You know, if the... If they have to make the world smaller to make the game work, then, you know, that's... That's game development, baby. Oh, rude. Screw Crusher Dead King! Blackberry Fantastic! Alright, that was a, an interesting dodge, but I'll take it. I timed that the worst possible way. Don't 
dead yet. <laughs> nice. Uh, hilarious. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I haven't really had much of a chance for that to happen, but getting the uh, the killing blow prompt and then having the, uh, you know, what you call it. Uh, AOE, DOT, kill, actually kill the enemy. I think it's. Just for Travis to be mid swing and have uh, have the game just be like, yo. Oops. So easy. And you know, since I brought it up, you know, just looking at the map again, clear that, you know, they had a lot of ambition for uh, what they wanted you to be able to do, where they wanted you to be able to go. Like, just looking at it here, uh, you know, there's there are all those fights uh, where you're in... Like, green rolling hills, undeveloped land. Like, that's clearly supposed to be around here in this forbidden area. And now that I look at it, but uh, they never could make it into reality, sadly. It's a shame. I would have loved to see what it was they had planned. Really? Guy. Yep. Turned invisible. Oh no. I don't think so. Ow. I can't believe how quickly you lose tension just from a single hit. Big hit, mind you, but still. Timing to get that energy recharge. Been real here. One more lesson. All right. Finish off with getting a green mode, huh? All right. Oh, 
took that. There we go, that's how you finish the job. B rank, lots of money, super ultra gorgeous crown. Okay. I feel like, well, I'm pretty sure pink materials are about as rare as rare can be. Uh. That's good. Uh, let's see. The matches are done, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to warp back to Santa Destroy. Warp! Power up. Get that extra bit of health. See what else I can uh, spend my Wesson on, if anything. Probably just going to be the battery. Huh. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. How much cash do I have? Lots. That's steep, man. Pay the fee. One last visit to the skill tree. Hey. Maxed out health. Uh. Ooh, so close to maxing out the battery, but... That's okay. Nice. We'll just have to leave it at uh, at the final or second to last level. I guess I'll upgrade my cooldown time. Hey. Yeah, that'll be it. I'm not the time. I want want the death club chip. See if anything sticks out now that I have uh, that very gorgeous crown. Got one of those. Um, not a bad idea. Alright. A lot of these missing slots, I believe, are like EX chips. I just don't have them. Apparently that one I'm missing everything. He's the ones that. Uh... Oh, hmm. Oh well, so it goes.
So I'll buy this and this. Just top myself off. Can't eat in when you order takeout. It's not allowed. All right. So I believe this happened in my primary playthrough, but when you do the other side quests, which, which again, I don't really want to take the time to do. There are, let's see, two, three, at least three, no, four side quests. Uh, wait, no, five. Several side quests that I chose not to do because uh, most of them are just going around the, uh, the overworld. One of them is planting trees. You get more Wesson from that. I guess that's a thing. But why worry about that when we're... Uh... We've got uh, our ingress into game uh, mentality. that I'm really complaining. It's video games. You gotta have a fight where things are easy to show just how powerful you become. close to calling it the Garden of Madness again. Yet so far. Alright, I'm not even sure what the point of that fight was. Uh, but... have a good meal. All right, so let's see what our options are. Um, so we can have uh, basically an auto revive, a uh, massive health attack and tension boost, uh, increasing density. Um, Shorter cooldowns, which, why would I? Uh, enemies are more easily stunned. Jeff's choice is just a random one, but it's cheaper. It might be cheaper. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll take the auto revive. Alright, we've got full recovery items. Um, not even gonna bother with the save. Here we go. Showdown with Prince Fu. Jess Baptiste the Sixth. The King of Destruction. Even though he's very clearly a prince. Ha! So you actually made it all the way here. I'm more pleased than surprised to think that there was a shining pebble in the rough of that trash planet after all. 
You're that shining pebble, but I'm a fucking diamond! And that's quite a huge... disparity. You just can't stop talking, can you, Prince Dumbass? Do you really fear me that much? What the fuck you say? Fear? What the hell is fear, anyway? I can't even comprehend the emotion you call fear. No, seriously, tell me, what is fear? That's sad. Didn't your mommy and daddy teach you? It's not nice to cause trouble for others. No? Cause trouble. And you'll get scolded. But nobody's ever scolded you before, have they? My daddy scolded me once. I was punished and was sent to rot in space prison. Black hole prison? It's basically paradise. That wasn't punishment. You just went on a nice little vacation abroad. And that's how we get Prince dumbasses like you. Yeah, just keep talking. Keep fucking talking. Go on, get angry, you fucking loser. Get all nice and salty for me. Fucking assassin! There we go. Those eyes, right there. The dumbass is turning into a beast. Kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, nice scary eyes. That's what I want to see. Come hey. In. Kill me. I recognize Demons that. Don't got shit on me. I'll kill you. You're getting real fucking crazy now. That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Did that mention of uh, Black Hole Prison? Uh, would you believe that is more content that had to be cut from the final game? Uh, they've mentioned Black Hole Prison before, but that was supposed to be like a, another whole place that you'd go to. Uh, but it, you know, it, it didn't work out. Anyway, I believe the gimmick to this fight, if you can call it that, uh, is you see the uh, the glowing eyes all over Fu's body. Uh, you can't attack him while those eyes are glowing, even if you get slow down. You have to wait for them to stop glowing before you can actually attack him. Oh, I meant to dodge to the side. So, the time when he's vulnerable is basically uh, after uh, after his attacks. But it's kind of a short window, so, you know. You really need to keep your eye out for it. That's less than ideal. Not a lot of damage, but there goes all my tension. Oh, come on, really? before it becomes an issue. That knocks him into phase two, I believe, hopefully. Uh, a real hilarious. Hmm, like that. Stop rate of attacks. Oh, I wonder if I really timed it wrong there. 
But it looked like his defenses are down. Yeah, okay, so that's... Then I could theoretically use uh, skills. That's fine. Oh yeah, real hilarious, buddy. Ah, of course. To dodge the needle spikes. Yeah, all right. Makes sense. After all, the one of the key things about the uh, death kick is that it just kind of teleports you to the enemy, so... I can't believe it's taken me to the second playthrough to find out, or to figure out, that, uh... Dodge the hair drill attack. You just... You just gotta keep running. You don't need to, like, specifically, uh, dodge roll. Anyway. Final phase. How rude. Oh. One of those wait around to attack things. Oh. Am I supposed to jump for that? Probably. This, no, not quite enough. All right, take that, Prince Fu. Anyway, surprise, the Prince Fu has a second form. Oh. Let's not die. Uh, what do you do? Okay. This is kind of reminiscent of uh, the rank 10 boss, Mr. Black Hole. We had an attack that was kind of like this. Uh. Hmm. All I needed was a sick dodge. Oh, there he is. Oh! Kamui! Destroy this thing. He's come to lend a helping hand. Oh, hey, bad girl. Okay, looks like we're square now. 
<laughs> all right. Sure. Uh, all right. New complication, the lasers. And there. Yeah, it looks like the trick, quite obviously, is uh, if you can perfect dodge uh, when he thrusts out his hand, then you can just take out his next section of life bar. Close, but not quite. And more lasers. Uh, there. Don't run out on me too quickly. Brain out on. Rude. All right. So close. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. I was refilling my battery. Take this. The champ. Go, champ. He's calling me champ. Oh, also, Native Dancer is here. Grandpa! Still calling Travis Grandpa for some mysterious reason. Oops. Too slow there. I'm working an awful lot of attacks there. Why? I don't like that. Oops. All right. Here we go. I guess Shinobu couldn't make it because she still can't hold a sword. It's fine. She's still in rehab. Oh, wait. Speak of the devil. Master! He's wide open! Now's your chance! Here we go! Oh! All right, well... Clothesline him. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. This would kind of broke his neck. Oh. Who leaving? Who go home? He did say he would leave. I want to see my daddy. We managed to kill him, and I guess we did. I loved you too, Fu. Damon? Damon? Goodbye, Fu. Now fuck off! Oh. Really hating on Fu there. Even got the Baptiste family secret treasure. Nice. 
So he's finally dead. Nice work, Travis. So this is what it was all about? Looks like my hunch was right. You... you're a friend of his, right? His friend? Are you kidding me? That crazy alien bastard was just a pawn. I'm the real king. I see. So the real scumbag is you, then. I totally missed that. It's all you, Travis. You. You! You hit me, didn't you? You hit me! Not even my dad has ever hit me! Oh, okay. So you're the asshole who forced Juvenile out. I remember now. Now it's my turn to hit you, Travis! Thunderbreak! So I... I haven't been mentioning this at all, but, uh... Yeah, Damon, you know, he made his first appearance in uh, Travis Strikes Back. He was, uh, he held one of the death balls. He was the one who, uh... No way! Nobody told me about this! What the fuck is happening? Hey, that Glastonbury thing. Call it. Oh, That's yeah. been decommissioned. Too much dark matter. It deteriorated. Oh, no. Okay, then. What the hell do we do now? Juvenile, please do something about this. I cannot do anything right away. If I had around two years, I could help. That's not gonna work. Wait a moment. The dead cage is going off. It is transferring something over from another dimension. Transferring? Transferring what? Some sort of unknown huge object. Starting countdown. It's not a monster or something, is it? We get one more monster or demon or whatever, and this town is screwed. Yeah, more like this planet. Three, two, one. Here it comes. Any second, the transfer is complete. An Arsenal Volat model has arrived. What? The mech from Damon X Makina? From the Japanese publisher Marvelous? An oh. Arsenal? Oh my and god, the I... Model. The model with the same coloring system as the Glastonbury. Travis, hurry up. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot I no about this. But here goes nothing. Train supernova. I'm in the top. Unlock all weapons and fight. Here we go, G. Here we go, Dad. Brothers! Bravo! My god. Uh. <laughs> So much going on, it attracted me. Uh, right, what was I trying to say? Damon was in uh, Travis Strikes Again. He held one of the death balls uh, called Serious Moonlight because he was uh, an intern developer on that game, uh, working under Dr. Juvenile. Uh, and uh, he ultimately try to lead some kind of revolt against her because uh, he convinced the the other staff that uh, they had better ideas for the game than she did. Uh, he was transferred off the project, but he went he went to her office to try to uh, uh, to get the last. You know, incomplete copy of Sirius Moonlight so that he could finish it. And uh, he beat her unconscious. When Travis heard about that, he decided to pay him back in kind. He beat him unconscious uh, to take the death ball from him. And after that, he swore revenge. Well... Yeah, this is Damon's Revenge. This is the same guy. So when Fu said that all that he came here, that he came back to fulfill his wish to kill Travis, well, we? that's what he was talking about. The edge of space. Maybe even the promised land. Nice place for a final showdown. We've come so far. The train keeps going. On and on forever. It's over, Travis. Looks like this is the final stop. 
We'll settle this with sumo. Sumo? Like Japanese sumo wrestling? Yeah. Real men settle shit with sumo. Fine. Now for the final transformation! Start the game. The final game! So, in the end, it all comes down to revenge. Also, we've reached the final stop. And, uh, surprise! It's... It's Smash Bros. time, baby! I'm not gonna use full green mode. But, uh... Yeah, we're at the final stop, the final destination, if you will. So, funny story about this. Uh, apparently, when they came up with this idea for for the final fight, they did it as a joke. They were like, huh, wouldn't it be funny if we did this? Uh, but at the same time, they realized, well, there's no way that Nintendo would actually go for this. There's no way they would allow this, right? Oh, Final Smash. Uh, but then they, you know, they actually showed it to Nintendo, fully expecting to be uh, denied. And, uh... Nintendo, you know, they got a good look at it, and they are like... This is incredible. Please. Go right ahead. Do it. So here we are. Got my throws. Got my damage race. Invincible now. And oh. Here we go. Complete with knocking him off the screen. And that is the true final boss. I don't want to die. 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 I've still got somewhere to go home to. But you, you don't. I don't want to die. Be sure to apologize to Juvenile and have fun hanging out with Prince Dickhead in hell. How dare. Oh man, so much going on. I completely forgot uh, to mention that I was, that I, or to go back to the uh, the cameo from Damon X Machina, uh, another game by uh, published by Marvelous. That uh, I believe Grasshopper manufacturer or they've worked on, or they not. Uh, anyway, Damon X Machina is kind of a uh, kind of a sequel, spiritual successor to the Armored Core series. Uh, wow, look at all this art, of all these bosses throughout the entire series. So many of them. What a wonderful cast of characters. Anyway, they totally could have added like a, a unique gameplay segment um, for piloting the robot, but they did not. So uh, you know, that's it's probably okay.
Oh, credits rolling. What can I say? Um, I do like this game. But I suppose I can't say that it's perfect. I think we're not done just yet, though. Ah, of course not. And have our post credit scene. Mid credit scene. Nice place for the home run king, huh? Working all buddy. Fucking dying on me like that. Daddy, I was never able to say this, but you always looked so cool hitting the home run. You always bought me marble fudge ice cream after your games. I actually wanted coffee flavor, but you always assumed that a little kid would want marble, so I never said anything. Have that title drop. Okay, now the real credits are rolling. So, we actually call him New Type Kamui. So, um,. Where was I? Uh, as far as the game goes, I do like it. Um, although there were still some changes overall that I'm not sure I'm quite a fan of. Uh, I missed having a, a variety of weapons, like in the first couple of games, even though there were only a few. They were still unique, especially in the second game. Uh, so it was kind of a shame to lose out on that. Uh, the fashion, I mean, the t-shirts were always a fun part of the first two games. It's really a shame that they were all locked behind achievements. Just hitting up, hitting certain milestones and certain things. Uh, with no real easy way to get to them. You had to wander over the overworld, find the t-shirt alien, uh, try to remember if that's the one uh, that you could get, or that you could get a t-shirt from. Uh, but then there's the fact that you know you can't even like get multiple if you qualify for multiple. You gotta get one, uh, do something else. And then come back to that alien that's even if you do qualify which you don't know uh, so that was disappointing obviously i didn't get anywhere close to all of the t-shirts in this playthrough i don't think i've gotten anywhere close to them in my own playthrough where i you know took my time so yeah, that's a, a bummer. Um, the bait and switch with the aliens, also a shame. Would have been cool to to fight, uh, you know, Black Knight direction, Vanishing Point, Sniping Lee, Paradox Bandit. So I guess out of the, you know, the top ten that you're given, you do fight over half of them. You do fight six of them. Depending on whether or not you count what happens with uh, Velvet Chair Girl. Oh, hey. That classic No More Heroes 3 theme.
you know that said all even with the you know my complaints like i said i still do like the game i think it's incredible that they did uh you know that they ended with a, a smash brothers clone travis got into no uh got into smash after all um I think that the uh, idea of the RPG boss battle was funny. The velvet, or uh, the fight with Velvet Chair Girl, musical chairs, hilarious. I mean, there, there's, you can see how this game was impacted, you know, by by budget, by uh, technical restriction, by you know, by COVID, probably. Um, and you know, I suppose that's simply the reality of game development. You can have all these great ideas, but you can't always execute them for one reason or another. Uh, So it goes, but still, what is there still like? I'm not really big, big on ranking entries in a series. For me, it usually goes into whether I like it or not. I don't, well, I don't like coming up with like a hard list of, uh, Of, uh, of rankings. So that said, I'm not sure if this is my favorite favorite of the series, but I do like it. Um, I am glad I played it. Uh, by all accounts, this is the end of the line for Travis. I believe Suda51 has said uh, in interviews that, you know, it took nearly 10 years to make a new numbered game in No More Heroes, and it may take him another 10 years to uh, revisit Travis Touchdown. Uh, but a lot of the characters, a lot of the friends that survived to the end, they may make an appearance. Also, post credit scene. Someone kills your kid, I guess you're gonna get mad. Hold up, now. Do not jump to conclusions. I have traveled vast distances to come to this planet, Earthling, to enter into a peace accord. Are you the representative of Earthlings? Do I fucking look like it? Well, in that case, it would appear that peace negotiations have failed. Oh no. What? Wait a second. First, you gotta talk with some actual representatives, and then... Under Baptiste interplanetary law, I hereby seize the planet, Earthling. Do it! Uh, well... How much for that? Hey, look who it is. Who is it? Let's find out. Dad, it's me. Have you forgotten what your own kids look like? What a shitty dad. Hunter and Jean, is that you? Who? Master's children, the twins. Wow, you guys have gotten big. They're from another world. Wait a second. Hunter and Jean? Is it really you? We came from the future. 
There's no time to explain. Just look at the situation. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, mommy, I took Just out every single one of them. Good boy, Scott. Dad, let me introduce you guys. This is Gene's son, Scott. He's your grandson. I didn't mean to hide it, but getting to fight you, I was so happy. You're so tough, Grandpa. Uh, hold up. This is like the actual final for real's ending? What, what the hell is going on? Somebody, explain this to me. Travis, the battle is not over yet. Your next opponent is up to the north. He came from the future to kill Uncle Henry. That cosplaying dickhead killed you and is counting down to this planet's destruction? Oh, snap! My great uncle teamed up with some super messed up aliens and was attempting to conquer the planet. So we have to change the future. Come with us! Come with us, otherwise you're gonna die. Oh, snap! Welcome, Travis, to the Garden of Insanity. Next up, Family War. Oh, snippity snap! Yep, that's how the game ends. Thanks so much for playing. Get this animated cutscene in the style of all these, like, end... Uh, all these end cards. Henry has apparently uh, is apparently trying to destroy the world. He's already killed Travis. So his kids from the future have come to save him, to bring him from the past. God, that's how they they ended the game. And two to fifty one at this point has no plans for No More Heroes four. So <laughs> there you go. I might as well. With that, we've unlocked uh, New Game Plus. Hey, there it is. Uh, Carolina Reaper is the highest difficulty, I believe. Uh... Got some t-shirts, new styles. I guess we can take a, a peek to close things out. Which one? All right. I wish you could like zoom in, but yeah. Yeah, like even Travis's hair is different in the No More Heroes 1 look. No More Heroes 2 look is still pretty good. The Travis Strikes Again outfit. Yeah. Gus Baptiste the Sixth. AKA Foo. If I'd had uh, save files uh, uh, on this profile for No More Heroes 1 and 2, which uh, remember they did come out on Switch, uh, I'd also have access to Travis's uh, default shirts games, but oh well. I use a separate profile for streaming, so what happens? And that's it. That is maybe not 100% of what No More Heroes 3 has to offer, but that's the bulk of it. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for this game. <laughs>